Hey, I'm Bob. I've been blind since birth, and I'm into Power Rangers. Remember to share, like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. These things help the channel. So, I've got the box set. We're talking about Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 1, Episode 26. This one's Gung Ho, and it aired on October 25th in 1993. And it is a follow-up episode to Life's a Masquerade, even though it aired before it. So, watch this after Masquerade. In this episode, we see Jason and Tommy. They are competing in ninja finals. They're supposed to be working as a team, but they're not working very well together at all. They're constantly trying to one-up each other. It's a one-upmanship rather than a friendship. So Bulk, he is showing off his ninjas that he's managing. I don't think he trained them, but he does seem to be a very decent businessman, as we'll see in a later season. So... Rita, she is making excellent use of the super putty that her minions mined for her in the last episode. Or maybe she used that big giant ball of super putty that she was riding around on. Anyway, she has Finster slap this clay into the monster matic and out pop new super putties. And these guys are vastly more powerful than the originals. So things aren't going too well in the youth center. Folks, ninjas are showing off and Jason and Tommy realize they have their work cut out for them. Kimberly and Trini are attacked by these new super putties on a playground. The other rangers, they show up to help, but they're all getting beaten up by these new super putties. They're quite powerful. So Zordon teleports them to the command center, and he tells them that they, they're going to have to split up. Tommy and Jason, they have been given a map by Zordon, and they're going to go find new and more powerful weapons that will permanently destroy these super putties. And in the meantime, the other four rangers have to morph and the super putties are attacking a factory. So they're going to be fighting them at this factory. So we have Jason and Tommy going after these new weapons and they do manage to find the marker on the map. But the weapons, they're guarded by this enormous Brachiosaurus entity and he shoots fireballs. He is not wanting these guys to get to the weapons. And they realize the only way to get to the weapons is to gung-ho, to work together. And Tommy gives Jason his power shield because he's got to get up the hill. And um, let's see here. Jason gives Tommy his sword, so he's doing some sword work, and Jason is doing his own thing, and they do eventually get the weapons, and they hightail it out of there, and they do manage to destroy the super putties, and Zordon reveals to them that the Brachiosaurus that they were just fighting, this massive guardian of the weapons, is named Titanus, and he's actually their ally. It was just a test to see if Jason and Tommy could put their differences aside and work together. It's a pretty dangerous test there, Zordon, but I guess Titanus wouldn't have really hurt him or anything like that, right? <laughs> so the episode ends with Rita having another headache and Jason and Tommy do work together and they win that ninja competition. So teamwork does win the day. It was a pretty fun episode. I didn't see this until I was in maybe the ninth grade. I didn't know Titanus had a debut episode. Um, I kept missing it on TV, I guess. I never saw this. It was pretty cool to see that uh, that he was introduced to Jason and Tommy through a, a test, a, a trial by fire, as it were. So it was a really fun episode. So next time we're going to be talking about Wheel of Misfortune. So be here for that. In the meantime, remember to gung-ho and I will hear you guys in the next video.